Good morning guys. I sound like I'm dying because I've been a bit ill lately. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. But today I am going to the Obershare tour of Rose and Rosie's new book to the signing and the premiere of their documentary. So I'm taking the clothes with me and that should be super fun. I'm so excited but so nervous. Here's my outfit. The mirror is a bit shit because I'm in a Starbucks suit, but it's fine. But I look like a raging lesbian, so I think it's very fitting. We got numbers because Dave is a legend, so we can go back to the line after we go to the signing, so we can still say first. He is amazing, we love. We're on the way to the signing, and I'm gonna like actually die, and I'm gonna I'm gonna die. And that's literally all I can say, I'm just gonna die, so like that. <laughs> They're literally gonna be there, I'm gonna help me. I'm so nervous. I am going to have a gay panic attack. <laughs> so they're like right in front of us right now and I'm literally gonna shit myself. I'm so scared. Oh my god, my heart's beating so fast. I'm actually gonna cry, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, are you excited to, uh, have, you, have you read any of the book yet? I literally got my book on. Oh, that's okay. It's still good. I don't know, I'd like that city for eight. I'm like, I'm such a slow... Oh my god, me too. No, I blew it. 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 Yeah, she did. I do, yeah, I do that in my spare time. Cool. It's a little bit of a Anyway. Um, 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 Okay, I just met them. My friend took a video for me, so I'll insert that here. Oh my god, I'm just shaking so much. I'm being so nervous. I'm like, wow, they're so lovely. I love them. I'll insert photos too, and I'm gonna show you. They signed the book as well, so. so lovely, they complimented my shirt and like put up with my nervous rambling and stuff. Like, bless them. I don't even remember why I said I was such a nervous wreck. Wow. YouTube live. I am an official YouTuber oh, now. <laughs> oh yes. This is literally a massive lesbian meetup, and I feel so happy. It's just lesbians everywhere, it's great. I'm just so happy right now. Applaud. <laughs> Applaud. And then let's see if. <laughs> this is so lit. Oh, I got Dave in. Bye. Hello. I don't know why. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Bye. Bye. Woo! So my name is Laura Dix. Woo! Woo! Some of you may know me from the sibling musical sensation Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Others of you may know me as the sister of Rose and the sister-in-law of Rosie. <laughs> now I really, really enjoyed that documentary. Did you guys enjoy the documentary? Yeah. Woo! I think we surprise each other when we try new things because obviously we love YouTube. We're still going to be using YouTube the platform. You know, that's where it all started. But it was nice trying something new because we were learning in new fields what we were good at. You know, and then, I don't know, I felt good. I didn't realise I was good at certain things. You're a great writer. Really, really good. So, yeah. And um, <laughs> things like directing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. trying your hand at stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Some of the choices I made in editing, like I chose some of the music and stuff, and then when you see it on the screen, you know, I'm proud. So yeah. um, I think, yeah, it was really nice learning new skills and together. Aww. Aww. <laughs> um, so I'm writing a fiction book by now. It's um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
and um, and a little support. And I feel like you know, if we just talk about these things more openly and more candidly, then we will get there as you know, as as a, as a community, and, and and really be there for each other. And, Okay, so cheesy. But you know what I mean. It's really important to speak about these things, and it was very, very valuable to be able to speak to Laura, to be able to speak to Rosie, and my friends, you know, in art college about this stuff. And uh, I really feel like I've come out the other side of it. So yeah. To YouTube channel because I heard that works really well. Will you subscribe? Will you subscribe? Yes. Yes, always. Uh, yeah, it's really annoying. It's but really it's what the point is being called sisters. That's what that's I mean. No, but that doesn't make any sense because we're like, oh, we're Rosie and Rosie, and they're like, oh, so you're sisters. I'm like, but why would parents <laughs> call your kids the same name? Like, I don't understand how they get there. But yeah, it can be frustrating. It's really, it can be really annoying. But it's horrific. Do you know what? I, I don't really feel like it's that bad for us, only because our relationship manifests so organically online that we've never really tried to be anything other than ourselves. And I feel like for those people who maybe do have more of a character to play, um, whether it's a solo YouTuber or like a personality, maybe it's easier to slip up, perhaps? I don't know. For me, I just write what I want, and I'm sure you do too. Um, but there is always, a, I think there is always a pressure. There's definitely always a pressure because so many people are looking at your social media. So you think, well, hold on a second. If I say something even slightly problematic, it's going to be a hashtag, you know? So that's 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 quite scary. And there was a point as well with like outrage culture. It got so crazy that I said to Rosie, I I, I mean, this is this is this is crazy. Like, obviously, we need to sort of like you know point things at things that should be you know dealt with. Absolutely, 100 percent. But there was a point where it was like getting. I was just nervous to to tweet, you know. I think my social anxiety is way worse in person than online. I think online for me is quite a safe space and I feel probably because our audience is so incredible and amazing that I don't feel like I have to delete anything really. Although I know what you're saying with like, You are really lucky though. We do have and I think we, we we hashtag first. Hello. Um, I think we are um, it's quite rare actually to, to have such a, a, an amazing audience that are so loyal, so kind to each other, and we are really fortunate to have you guys. We have an amazing community. You guys support us so much. Like, we, you know, it helps, it helps is, so much. This is why it's so difficult when people say, oh, how do you deal with hate comments? But the, the truth is, we don't really get many um, at all, you know? So we, we really are very fortunate and very grateful for you guys because you all, and we see you all sort of like making friends, making little, you know, community of each other, and it's just so great. So we're very lucky. Yes. <laughs> no, we've already planned it. I would be coming. Really? What she said about me. Never forget. Never forget. Actually, stay tuned for that because Rosie has a big yeah. plan. Rosie even laid down a beat, didn't you? No, I said I'm That's directing the music video. video. <laughs> and I said, promise me, promise Mark that you're going to let me do exactly how I want it. Yeah, for me, it'll yeah. be Amy Orphan just because she deserves it. Just <sighs> all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, yeah, it's great. And I was like, <laughs> I think they've both got the same eyes. I, I think they, really they look, look like. exactly the same. Yeah. If you look at their facial structure, they look yeah. exactly <laughs> the same. I think they're a beautiful couple. I think Lauren, we Peggy, don't stand. is she, if I use this word, is she an enigma? Is that word? Uh, it depends what you're going to say. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I think she's a mysterious, what does that mean? beautiful, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna support her yes. with a man, with a woman, whoever she's with. But um, we all wish it was another way. <laughs> <laughs> Not to invalidate one, just saying. <laughs> it would be hot if it was another way. Okay, and two, just forbade me from saying the series because I did my bisexy series and it was like four million. <laughs> which isn't finished, I've got another one planned. I bought some equipment the other day. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so I know my equipment. <laughs> I know they're few and far between, but um, I am still making them. Um, and I feel like a lot has happened um, with Rose and I, but now we've published our book and once the tour's done, I feel like we'll, we'll, we've got so many creative ideas for our YouTube series and um, we're excited to get back on it. Um, obviously we're on tour at the moment, but yeah, um, definitely we'd like to do more mental health. I think yes. writing the book has like kind of opened the door for yeah. us, like and allowed us to, to be able to focus on topics that we're really sort of like you know we want to really sort of explore more and mm. you know to, to value other people and 
before, I think, before the book was out, and you know, we, we wrote about these things quite honestly, I think it was more difficult to just jump into, oh, we're doing this on mental yeah. health, without it looking kind of like we were just trying to be trendy, or kind of like, you know, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I so, think it's a, such a, I think there are certain topics that are so delicate online, and I, uh, I worry, I, we always want to approach it in the very best, most yes, sensitive way definitely. possible. Um, but yeah, definitely, we'd love to talk about it more, 100%. We should get a hot therapist on, on our channel. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Ye
vlog inception though. <laughs> Me vlogging the vlogging. I love okay, it. Okay guys, this is a totally unrehearsed which Rose hates. No, I love it. I live for it. We're just gonna try and vlog. Alright guys. And then we're gonna spin the camera to you and if you can end the vlog, you're just gonna wave, okay? It's the okay. end of our London Overshare documentary premiere. And I just wanna thank everybody for coming, everybody for just having such a lovely time. And thank you, Jay, our director, all of the team, Dave, Kira, everybody. Thanks to my mum and dad. Thank you for Laura Dix, everyone. Woo! They're just so lovely, like so, so, so lovely. Uh. We just met one of the girls in the documentary and she was so, so sweet. Oh my god, my heart. So, I literally sound like this the day after. So that's fun, but I have to end the vlog. So. If you enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and pray for me because what the hell is happening to my voice?